Hi everyone, how's it going? If you've seen my videos before, you'll probably notice something different. I'm not filming at my normal setup. That's because I'm at my mom's house. So today I'm working with what I have because I want to show you the 12 Days of Christmas Barbie. I ordered the 12 Days of Christmas Barbie from Target.com, which is a store here in the US. When she came out on Mattel Creations, I decided not to get her and had a very small amount of regret. Luckily, she showed up on Target.com a few days ago. I ordered her on Wednesday and she shipped and arrived today, Friday. She retails for $150. All right, so let's open this up and see if it's worth $150. Okay, so here is the advent calendar, and one thing I will note is that this cardboard is very sturdy. This can definitely be reused and is something that I will be reusing again for the holidays next year. So it looks like the doll is number one, so let's open her up first. Okay, so here we have the doll, and something that I do want to know is that she is not a silk stone. I know a lot of people, including myself, thought that this was going to be a silk stone, but it's not. It's made out of a hard plastic, which actually does have a little bit of weight to it. Not as much as a silk stone, but it actually does feel quite sturdy. Here is a closer look at the makeup screening. I do see some pixelation in the eyebrows. I think that the design for the makeup is actually really beautiful. However, the application could have been much better. Her earrings do come out and they are plastic. Not a very good quality plastic either. Here is a closer look at the hairstyle. It is a little bit messy but that's okay, I don't mind that. I always tend to restyle my doll's hair anyway. The bow is attached by a thread, and the doll, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but she is fully rooted. And the reason that I'm checking whether she's fully rooted or not is because a lot of vintage Barbies are actually just rooted along the hairline, but it seems like they decided to give her a full root. She also comes with a standard number one Barbie stand. I love that they decided to give this stand its own special touch. So it has the Barbie written in red. And you can see the holes at the bottom of her feet. I really love this type of stand and I'm sure a lot of other Barbie collectors are going to appreciate it. Okay, so let's take off the dress for a closer look at it. These are metal snaps. And she does have a crinoline, closes with Velcro. Here is a closer look at the dress and right away feeling the satin, it feels really nice. I actually expected it to be much cheaper and I do wish I had some cheap satin to show you the difference between this and a cheap dress made out of satin, but fortunately, you'll just have to take my word for it. It is actually a very sturdy, very smooth and silky satin. The pattern is embroidered all the way around. It is not printed. I wish that the hem was done using an invisible stitch. I think that would have made this garment much more expensive looking. And the inside is not lined, but that's okay because I think that lining adds extra bulk that is not necessary. And the fur, again, I'm actually very surprised at the quality. I was expecting something much cheaper, but this feels really nice and it does not shed. And the color is a bright blood red, which I really like. I was not expecting it to be so vibrant. And here is another really nice surprise a crinoline. I really love that it's separate and not attached to the dress. It is unfortunate that it has Velcro, but I understand that they wanted it to lay as flat as possible on the waist. Here's a closer look at the shoes. They are soft and rubbery, and the heel also 
is soft and rubbery, which I do not like. I prefer the hard plastic shoes. Okay, so we have 11 more items to open. So let me do a quick little montage of all these accessories and stopping at the final dress because this is what I'm most excited about. All right, everyone, so here is the final dress. I love how shiny and sparkly it is. It even has metal snaps for closures, and it has lining in all the places that it needs. It has a soft, very thin mesh lining at the neckline to help pull back the hem. And it's finished off with a netting for the skirt to give it some volume very well constructed and i really like the choice in fabric and the heels are hard plastic these are the type of heels that i like okay so here she is in her 12th day of christmas outfit I think something that I would have liked to see is maybe an accessory for her. She definitely is missing a pearl necklace. That would have been a really great accessory to get in one of these boxes. Okay, let's get her in her last look for some final thoughts. And I will spare you the footage of her getting dressed. All right, so here is holiday hostess Barbie.
The stars of the show for me are the two dresses and the doll herself. Both dresses are very well made and the fabric choice is really great. Pleasantly surprised that they used metal snap closures. And the print on her dress is embroidered all the way around, not printed. The satin is a very lush, silky material. I love the design for the facial screening. However, the screening application could have been better. I think they also need to find a different material for these pearl earrings that they're putting on the reproduction dolls because they look very much like plastic and they have no shine to them. Overall, I think that the attention to detail is mm, 70% there. All right, that's all that I have for you today. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. I will see you on the next one. Bye.